find the clarity in your purpose and in what you're trying to accomplish and achieve because I want to be able to help a lot of people right and I want to I believe in this program that I coach and it's phenomenal Mm -hmm. but finding the clarity and the balance of where's the passion what do I need to focus on right a lot of those different things can prevent me from moving forward so right I would love insight on your experience and how you have gained that insight and that clarity for what you're doing because I think what you do is amazing Thank you. Thank you. Um, Yeah, I totally understand about the whole clarity um, thing. And I do want to like kind of put you at ease and let you know that I don't think how however far you get on this journey that those fears and doubts um, don't creep up. The, The key is to just say, you know what, I see you there. I recognize you just like you said, and I'm going anyway, because the more that you step out, you know, that's where the magic happens. As far as clarity, what I would suggest is that you, what, what makes you cry? Like for you in this health business, what makes you cry? So I'm going to tell you what my, what makes me cry. What makes me cry is when children are abused, okay, by unhealthy parents because they were abused, so they passed that down. So I am an advocate. What I do, I'm an advocate for families and children, you know, for them, the parents themselves, to be the adults that they didn't have growing up so that they can be the healthy adults to show their children what it's like to have a love, a healthy love of self and therefore others too. So that's my why, that's my passion. I don't, I don't want to see, I was rejected for so many years and abandoned and left alone that I don't want people to feel left alone and left out. I want people to recognize their own special uniqueness. So what I would say in order for you to get clarity is to figure out what makes you cry and why why do you want to help people in this field? Like, is it a personal story of yours where you, you know, did you feel a certain way, you know, before you encountered this product or have you felt that way your entire life? Um, My my coach, he's amazing. It's Evan Carmichael and he has a book called Built to Serve and it kind of walks you through the whole thing of getting clarity on your who, your why, and your how. Um, But it helped me just to narrow things down. Although I have always been passionate about abuse and standing up against abuse and, and knowing how beneficial it is for us to heal our own hearts from what we experience as children so that we can raise healthy children so that they're not going around passing down pain, you know, and they know how to kind of lick their own wounds. If you should speak, you know, from people in school and things of that nature, because we know that, you know, other people raise their children differently. We have no control over that. We only have it in our household. So I would suggest that you really get clear on what it is that that really tugs. You know, I think you know that feeling when when you're excited, you, you probably felt that leaving that, that thing this weekend, like something that just really makes your heart dance or, and it, it makes your heart dance, but it also makes you feel sad and want to cry when you think about it because you desire to help so many other people. Cause you know that there are people that are feeling similar to what you felt before your health journey, before you started with this particular product. So tell me just a little bit how how that product has changed your life thus far. Um, I have been dealing with back issues. I had had a fusion and I um, was really struggling being healthy Mm -hmm. because I couldn't depend on exercise. And that's how I had balanced everything out was, oh, I can kind of eat whatever, but I can exercise. And so I can stay thin and I can stay healthy. Well, that was taken away. Mm -hmm. I couldn't depend on that anymore. And so I was on this journey of 
really like, okay, I really want to help other people not feel the way that I'm feeling. I mm-hmm. know that I can feel better, but I don't know what that looks like. And then COVID hit and I gained 20 pounds. I was back on my antidepressants, still trying to find a way to help people because I felt like there was more that I could do, even mm-hmm. though I personally Absolutely. was not in a place that I mm-hmm. even felt qualified or mm-hmm. could even help anybody whatsoever, right? Right. Like you have to fix, you have to start progressing yourself in order to be able to help other people. Mm -hmm. And so um, when I found this health coaching opportunity, um, it just resonated with me because it fell right in alignment with my belief system. Mm -hmm. Um, It talked a lot. This, the program is so much about self-development and personal Mm -hmm. development and really getting your mind in a place so Mm -hmm. that you can have overall health. Right. So without even thinking about it, I started, hey, as a, I was a client and I became a coach at the same time because I just, I felt like, okay, this is a great vehicle. Right. I hadn't seen any success with it at the, when I obviously started as a client, mm-hmm. but I started coaching it. And because I believed in that self-development portion and I knew, okay, if I can become that best version of myself, I want other people to experience that as well. So within a couple of months, I had lost 20 pounds without even thinking wow. about the food portion. And I had completely done a 180 as far as being, instead of being victim, uh-huh. I was a victor. I was the creator. I was right. taking control. No longer was the food controlling me mm-hmm. and the, the pain and whatever. Like I was in full control mm-hmm. and I was able to just say, okay, this, this is what I'm doing and I'm owning mm-hmm. it and I am taking that responsibility and becoming that real dominant force, right? Mm -hmm. We want to be that dominant force in our life. We want to be that creator. And so that is what it has allowed me to do. Mm -hmm. And being able to pay that forward and help coach other people. Mm -hmm. I was talking with um, a client yesterday and she said, usually her month of January is, um, depression like mm. down in bed can't get out we live in washington state it's oh yeah rainy and stuff yeah right and she started this program five weeks ago and it this is what made me cry is because in five weeks she has not only lost weight mm-hmm. but she has said you know i might have lost 14 pounds in five weeks of physical weight but she said, mm-hmm. I've lost a hundred pounds in mental weight. Wow. She said, I have not been down. I feel fabulous because my body is working correctly and I'm mm-hmm. able to really, I have energy and right. because I'm taking care of my body, I'm taking care of my soul. Mm-hmm. Right. And when we're in alignment with our body yes. and our soul, like magic happens. Yes, it does. And that is what makes me passionate about right, like, Uncle okay, Ricky. That's what I need. I need that. Like I have that clarity. It's that. It's that's that. it right what there. What do I need to do to move forward with it? Right. That's like, it right there. That sounds so, like. That sounds like that's. That's who you're supposed to be helping. Like yeah. those women who have lost hope. Yeah. The women who have lost hope because at one point in your journey you lost hope, yeah. because you couldn't. You couldn't do what you had normally, what you were normally used to doing, you know, and I can assure you that there are so many more women, not only like you, but her too. And I also want to tell you that you don't have to be perfect. People need to see your struggles too, because they need to be able to relate to you to say, you know what? I see that, you know, she's having her bad days too, it, you know, cause just because we're coaches, it doesn't make make us perfect. You know, like it doesn't mean that we're perfect or that our life is perfect. It just means what? That we fight through despite what's going on in our lives. But it doesn't mean that we don't have the same days that someone else does. And I think a lot of people look to coaches and say, hey, I could never accomplish what she has accomplished um, because they you know, so I see a lot of people that, you know, don't want to tell their story or don't want to discuss their struggles. But I think it's important to say, hey, you know, today was not a good day for me. You know, like, you know, I had a setback because people need to see that because 
you know, no matter how much you love yourself, no matter how healthy you are, you're still going to have setbacks. It's just that you know how to come up out of it. And that's what makes you a great coach because, hey, I know how to come up out of it. So that means I'm qualified and certified to help you come up out of it too. You know, um, and, and being a coach, you actually grow with your clients, you know, and that's the beauty of it. You know, we're never going to be 100%, you know, and that's the fun part. You know, you're a masterpiece now, even in progress. You understand that why, and you understand yes. how mm -hmm. that is going to affect mm -hmm. you. And you feel it. I think that's the mm -hmm. biggest thing, right? Is feeling it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And you can do a lot of things, but if you don't feel it. Yes. Then it's all for nothing. You gotta, you gotta feel it because that's what, that's what gets you up every single day. That's what gets you as excited every single morning. And I think you got it. What, what I would recommend for you to start doing is really just being transparent with your struggles and how you feel not only from day to day, but started before you started this journey, how, how depressed you were, you know, how you felt like that was it. That's all that you deserve. You were never, have you posted a picture of you back in that wedding dress? I did. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Cause I was going to recommend <laughs> that. On, yeah. It's on my Facebook page. Okay. I put on my Instagram one that I need to post it. Yeah. Yes. I, I put, yes. Put it on Be my Facebook page. Yeah. Because and, and, and explain to people, you know, before this photo, I had, I had given up hope. I had given up hope. I, I said, I'm going to, and, and whatever pound, you know, whatever weight you were at that time, post that, you know, like at, at this weight, I felt like it, I was done. I was never going to get, you know, I was never going to achieve this goal of getting back to this size. But just, just start sharing more transparently about your individual journey because I think that's who your target market is, is those women who are the moms, you know, the people who are at home emotionally eating because they have given up hope because those are the people that you're going to reach, you know, and it might be more women than men, but I really do believe that that is your target market. And that's your clarity. That's your clarity right there because you, you felt down in the dumps, depressed, like nothing great was going to happen for you, like nothing was going to change from you. And look at you today. Look at you today. You're back in your wedding dress. And that's not the end. That's, that's not the end, right? right? You like might have to get insane. that. You might have to get that dress hemmed <laughs> in. You know what I'm saying? Like, take it in. <laughs> I will say it felt a little like a corset, but I still got it on and but, zipped up. <laughs> yeah, well, wait a minute. That's just the beginning, Kendra. That's just the beginning, right? Imagine, because what's going to happen is the more people that you begin to share your story with, the more people that begin to resonate with, the more weight is going to come up off of you. And then I want you to take a picture in that wedding dress, like holding the side, like, do y'all see this? Like... <laughs> You know, because that's another testimony. Every step, every, and, and let people know when you're not having such a good day because they need to see their, that their coach is not perfect too. That, right. you know what, hey, my coach is just like me. My coach is just like me. You know, my coach goes through her depression sometimes, you know, but, and then say, you know what, but I know that this is not it. You know, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna be in this moment for right now, but you know, it's going to change. And I know that and keep that positive, you know, going and, and self-talk and showing people that this is how you get through so that they too can know that that that's how they can get through. Right. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Thank you. That Absolutely. Is yeah. Super like you lit my fire. So <laughs> I just needed to hear those little, yes. because you're right. I mean, I, I think a lot of the times we feel like, well, my story's not that, like, I haven't had anything drastic, right? Don't matter, yeah. I've had some depression, I've had, like, but nothing, I, I mean, looking at my life, I'm like, it's been a pretty dang good life, 
And yes. I and so I don't feel like I have a ton that I'm sharing. Yes, you do. I'm right? telling but you. You're right. I know. I do. Mm -hmm. And because there are going to be people that will relate to me because yes. of my experiences and unless yes. I share them. Yes. I am not, you know, we You're not we serving. Can't be that influence. We can't be that beacon and that light yes. if we are putting on a facade of well, yep. everything's great and I'm not right. being truly authentic and right. in alignment with who I am right. and sharing even if we feel like it's minuscule right that one minuscule thing could yes. be a total game changer yes. in someone else's life right yes so i appreciate the reminder this yes time. and you know you're a god-fearing woman you know that god says that you can't put your light up under the bed you know right. you got to shine it bright and and no matter how small you think your journey your story is compared to someone else and you think oh my goodness i i never would have made it through what she's made it through you're going to help so many women who are just stuck stuck yeah. and depressed and see no way out see no way out of their situation so i'm i'm excited for you i'm excited to see uh what's going to come from your journey and um how many women you're going to help and um this will be here on my ig and i also will cut it up and put it on my youtube channel um, and I'll make sure I put your contact information in the description box. And um, I'm excited to see what happens. And you know, you can, you got me on Facebook. You can, if you got yeah. any questions or anything like that, you can always okay. reach out to me. All right. Yeah, I love it. Thank you so much. Susan. Yes. This has been really great. Absolutely, Kendra. Thank you for joining me. You have a great right. day, okay? Thanks, you too. All right. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. Thank y'all for joining. Dupree, Esmeralda. Tessa, Rosie, Angie, Belinda, I love y'all, Uncle, Uncle Ricky, Evan, uh, Warren, thank you guys for joining, have a great day.